Hey guys, before you even learn Ruby on Rails or Ruby, the programming language, you need to actually come here and watch this video. Okay. Now, everybody keeps saying Ruby is dead. Ruby is dead. Ruby is dead. Now, I'm going to go into this, right? And I'm going to show you why Ruby is not dead and why Ruby on Rails is probably one of the best frameworks that's out there. And Ruby is probably the best programming language for any beginner okay so before you even throw it out the window and say i'm not gonna learn ruby you need to watch this whole video okay stay tuned kids we're gonna go deep <laughs> all right so let's get to it how did i come up with this video why did i even create it okay we're gonna go into this i created a video where i was talking about web development jobs in north carolina okay and somebody left a comment here and they're most likely from you know north carolina that's why they're probably watching this video and they're like damn so ruby on rails is dead now in 2020 and the reason why he's saying that is because in this video i didn't mention ruby on rails at all right i didn't mention ruby on rails at all on this state and i want you guys to keep that in mind okay just because there's no jobs in that state doesn't mean that Ruby on Rails itself is dead and Ruby the programming language is dead because it's not, right? Ruby and Ruby on Rails is pretty much like what we call a niche community. Certain states and certain cities are going to have jobs for it. This is not something that you're going to find in Wyoming. This is not something that you're going to find in, you know, Kansas. This is something that you're going to find in the major tech hubs. Who uses Ruby and Ruby on Rails? Usually tech startups and companies that now they're more established and, you know, they could be uh, Fortune 500 companies, right? But they created those companies years ago okay so once again there's two different worlds right there's the startup world somebody that wants to create a service a program doesn't matter what type of uh, application it is and they want to build it fast they're going to choose ruby on rails all right and then there's people that have already chosen ruby on rails when ruby on rails was on its maximum height which was probably like 2008 to 2011 around there we could say okay that's when it was super high and everybody was talking about it okay but if you are a new developer and you're like thinking man and ruby i love ruby but it's dead there's no jobs in my area this thing is dead is you know i keep hearing people saying ruby is dead ruby is dead ruby is not dead ruby is very alive okay and ruby on rails is definitely alive so i want you guys to take a look at this so this is indeed.com if you come here and you search ruby on rails you will notice that they have over 2,000 jobs and this is what has been posted in the last two months okay i had to zoom in so i could show you guys right so 85,000 and up is the starting point when it comes to ruby on rails and then from there you start seeing that there's a whole bunch of jobs that go 85 and up and a hundred thousand and up, a hundred and ten thousand and up, a hundred and twenty thousand and up, a hundred and thirty thousand and up, right? Ruby and Ruby and Rails is a niche community, guys. You're gonna find those type of jobs in specific areas. If we click here, right, you're gonna see San Francisco, New York, Seattle, Chicago, Washington DC, Austin, Boston, Los Angeles, Atlanta, uh, Denver. And you're going to find a lot of jobs are usually remote. Okay. As you can see, there is no North Carolina. As you can see, there is no Florida. There is no Ohio. There is no, um, I don't know, PA. There's no uh, Arizona. Right. But just because you don't find those jobs in those states doesn't mean that Ruby is dead. Ruby is alive. Right. And they pay pretty damn well. Okay. If you are a Ruby developer okay there's a lot of opportunities a lot of companies a lot of different industries that use ruby on rails ruby on rails is not gonna die straight up it's not gonna die at all okay it's not as quote unquote uh as popular as python right when you search for it like if we come here and we say python right and we search for python right even though you might see oh they're looking for somebody who knows python or 
something similar to Python, and you can see the differences, right? We remember we started with Ruby on Rails was uh, two thousand plus, right? There's about fifty nine thousand jobs that are also adding, you know, Python to the description. This is not even that they're looking for a, a web developer for python this could be for machine learning this could be for uh data science uh this could be for a whole bunch of different type of applications but when it comes to web development okay if we come here and we search django see what's the difference right we start seeing something that's more similar to um what we have with ruby on rails okay once again we start saying okay uh, how many jobs is out there? Remember, we had 2,000 plus jobs with Ruby on Rails, and we have about 18, oh, not 18, 1,878 jobs, right, for Django, which is the web framework for Python. And this is what is the most popular web application when it comes to, you know, web application framework that is out there when it comes to Python. So, right, remember, you know, Python is being used for a whole bunch of different things, okay? But when it comes to web development, and if you say, hey, man, I want to learn Ruby, and I want to be a Ruby on Rails developer, okay? This is pretty much at the same level as a Django, a Python developer, pretty much. It's literally head-to-head. -head. It actually has more jobs than Django developers. You get what I'm saying? So... When people come in and, and they're worried about, man, is this thing dead? Man, it's like, you know, they feel like, oh, my God, did they waste their time, right? They start thinking about that. They're like, man, did I waste my time learning Ruby and Ruby on Rails? Okay. Is it dead? No, it's not dead. It's very much alive. Okay. You just got to understand how to filter out the bullshit. Let's just call it for what it is, right? People love promoting things that's new people love promoting things that is trending that's going to give them views is going to give them likes that's what happens in social media that's what happens in you know in videos that's what happens in blogs that's what happens in twitter people are addicted to the likes and people are addicted to the views when you are a junior developer you look at those things and you say hey man well this guy has a hundred thousand subscribers and this guy has a million subscribers right and he's telling me don't learn ruby you gotta kind of filter out the bullshit why are they telling you that right is it because there is no jobs there or is it because they're gonna get more views when they say go learn python go learn node.js you get what I'm saying, right? It's the same thing as .NET. I rarely see somebody coming in here on YouTube or on blogs or on websites talk about .NET, right? I've seen even people started saying now like, hey, .NET is dead. And it's like, bro, what are you talking about? <laughs> .NET is pretty much alive, okay? As you can see, 48,000 jobs out there. So going back to what I was saying to you guys about Ruby or Rails, is it that hell no if you're learning ruby on rails just know right that you have to be in a certain cities certain type of cities for you to get those jobs if you live in iowa you're not getting a job for ruby on rails if you live in in florida you're not getting a job for ruby on rails and if there is a job out there it's such a small number that pretty much they could handpick the people that's going to work there, meaning they could just choose a guy who lives in, let's say, for example, in San Francisco, right? And says, hey, I want to move to Florida. I'm a Ruby on Rails developer. I'm tired of being here in the cold. Let me move to Florida. And then now he has 10 years of experience. Who do you think is going to get hired for that? Of course, the guy with 10 years of experience that he just moved to Florida. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's how it is. Sometimes you got to learn how to filter out the BS, the bullshit, okay? I'm just trying to be honest with you guys. I'm trying to be 100% honest so you guys don't be worried about, is this dead? Is this not dead? Should I continue learning? Oh, my God, I spent a month on Ruby on Rails, and now this is dead. It's not dead, bro. You just got to know where to look at, right? Once again, coming back over here. right? If we was to go in and say, hey, we're going by the searches of Python, Right. And we say, hey, Python got fifty nine thousand jobs. 
In reality, there's not 59,000 Python jobs. It's just people add it to the description because, you know, if you do know Python, right, you know programming, right? So they add those things there. They know that college students, that's what they're learning in school. Hey, they're learning Python. That's the introduction to programming. So you would think like this, a million Python jobs. But if we was to come here and even do like, you know, sometimes you got to learn how to actually like filter through this, right? You know, we got to come here and search Python on the title, right? Which will show you exactly how many jobs are there for Python, okay? So once again, right? Specifically just for Python, we start looking at things and it says, hey, full-time job, a thousand and 11 you know 11 jobs right uh we come in here let's see by this different salaries you start seeing that is basically a thousand jobs for quote unquote python developer going back to the same thing for ruby on rails we could do the same thing say ruby on rails okay and then we could see hey it is 236 right now Sometimes they're not going to put this on on the title. This is something that I learned over the years as a Ruby on Rails developer, right? A lot of companies, they just put in senior full stack developer or full stack developer when they use uh, Ruby on Rails. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like you got to go in there, filter out the BS and, and like do your own research. But just know that Ruby on Rails is not dead. All right. It is what it is. All right, guys. Now, by the way. If you're new to the channel, right, and you never heard of me and you're looking to learn how to code, right, we basically teach you all of this. We teach you everything from PHP, Ruby, um, Python, Node.js, JavaScript, right, all the stuff that you could think of, right? I, I, I don't want to spend too much time naming everything, but we got over 40 courses. In reality, it's like over 50 courses now that you get access to when you go to codingphase.com. And if you click on the description, you get a, you know, for $1, you get three-day trial to see if you even uh, want to take the, the courses and sign up to what we have at codingphase.com. Try it out. It's one dollar. You don't lose anything. And even if you want to cancel, you could cancel at any moment, right? You got seven days to cancel, right? And from there, you also get money back guaranteed, right? So if you want your one dollar back, we send you your one dollar back, okay? If after the trial, it kicks in the monthly subscription, which is twenty dollars, and you are within the seven days, we also give you back your twenty dollars back. So I want you guys to go ahead and try it out. Click on the description, go through there. You know, I'm going to put it in the comment section if you want to try it out. We basically teach you everything that you need to get a job as a web developer, right? That's what we focus on. We don't focus on software. We don't focus on game development, even though we do have a couple of low game development uh, courses. But, you know, our strong suit is really web development okay that's where we make the bread that's where we uh focus on and that's where the jobs are really at okay especially for self-taught developers that's why we focus on that but yeah it is what it is guys is python or is ruby on rails dead or whatever right is ruby dead in 2020 hell no okay i'm gonna see you guys later see your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com